Hello everyone, my name is Nilab and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create these simple loader animations in After Effects. If you don't know After Effects, don't worry, just follow along step by step and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Let's dive right into it. So let's open up After Effects and you can create a new composition which means a new document in, by clicking here or you can go to composition and click new composition all right and you can select the width and height like you do for any document so for now let's just create a 500 by maybe 300 pixels i just keep it at square pixels and the frame rate that you want which 24 is very ideal let's rename this composition as loading bar and there we go all right so this is a very small document we can increase this once we have created the vectors so whatever shapes that we create inside after effects are still vectors and you can scale them up so i'm going to go ahead up on the toolbar and click on the pen tool to clear create a simple line all right so uh, let me zoom in a little bit uh, or I can just go here and uh, here and just fit it to the screen I'll click on the left and then to the right by holding shift key so that the line is pretty straight and horizontal all right so right now we don't have uh, anything we can just see the paths that is because we have fill on and stroke off so as the shape is not closed uh, fill it will not show up so I'm just going to delete the fill and select it to have no fill at all and then click on the stroke and select a solid color all right so now you can see that we have a yellow solid color i'm going to increase the width of the stroke to something like this and i can go ahead and edit this stroke as well uh, i can click on the stroke and have some additional properties like opacity and the blending modes but let's not go there i'm going to click on this layer uh, and just press enter to rename this layer as loading bar all right so it's always good to rename your layer click on the drop down go to contents and the shape which is the shape that we have created and there you see the path stroke fill and transform properties all right so we're going to go to the stroke and here you can change the color just like you can do it here as well uh, let's keep this something of a bluish color which is quite common for loading bars all right and this looks good we can change it later anytime and now you can see that the stroke is cut off very sharp uh, and geometric at the ends and i want it to be uh, something of a rounded corner so you can see butt cap selected on the line caps you can select it as a round cap and there you go you will make a soft rounded ends to your stroke now to animate this uh, you can just select the layer and it's always good to adjust the anchor point so let me show you what anchor point is and if you see for this shape the anchor point is somewhere in the middle it's not exactly in the middle so for example if i rotate this it will rotate making that anchor point as a pivot all right so if i even scale this it will scale keeping that as a pivot but we want it to start from left to right so it's always good to snap it to left okay so for that you just select the pan behind tool on the toolbar select the anchor and place it here but it's very difficult to place it accurately so make sure you click the snapping on and then just place it and it will snap exactly to the starting point and now if i scale it it will scale from that point as a pivot and but this is not what we want we want it to animate from left to right and for that for any stroke that you create in after effects you can add a trim path animation effect all right so once you go to contents under which your shape is there is a little add button and when you click on that add button you can select trim path all right and then that trim path as a property is added and the end point is 100 and the start point is zero all right so if i just reduce the end point you can see how the end point is reduced now we are not changing the shape we are just making the shape animate from left to right in its on its original path all right so i'm going to just make it zero here click on the end clock to set a key on our timeline so this is the timeline and these are the frames shown and if i 
press space bar the animation will play all right but uh, let's say if i want to make the loading bar fill up after two seconds so i'll go to two seconds here which is uh, 48 frames and then just change the property to 100 and another key will be set up automatically so once you set a key by clicking here the rest of the keys wherever you make changes as is set automatically and now you can see if you just press the space bar the loading animation will play all right and that's how easy it is but to make it look like a loading bar let's duplicate this shape and create an outline so to to do it accurately and simply i'm just going to duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl or command d on the keyboard so i have another shape here and i'm going to change the color of that shape just to make it a little bit darker perhaps all right uh, and we don't need the trim path animation on that so i'm just going to go ahead select this and delete it so that the that shape is static overall so after selecting this shape uh, i'm going to hide the previous shape the loading bar that we have and let's just rename this as outline so we are sure what that is uh, and then in that shape what i'm going to do is add another effect which is offset paths okay so it is already a path and we are adding another effect to it as offset path and once you do that you will see that the rounded caps are no longer round but we'll fix that in a minute go to the uh, offset path and just increase the amount all right so you see how the path is split and uh, maybe let's reduce the stroke width here maybe let's just keep it at six for now and then where the line join is mentioned as a mitre join you can just select it as round join okay so that this becomes as an exact outline of the loading bar that we have created and now once i unhide that you can see it is like proportionally expanded to all the sides and i can just reduce the amount to make it fit much better and there we go let's go back and play this again there you have it this is your loading simple loading bar animations and you can explore multiple possibilities with trim paths and offset paths all right so if it is a circle you can still give it a trim path so it loads up as a circle and for star or box or any shape any line animations that you can do one thing you can also do is give easy ease to the keys so you can just select both the keys right click go to keyframe assistant and make it easy ease so that eases uh, out it eases out uh, before it the animation ends all right so here you go and the loading is complete and that's it i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in the next tutorial